In this video, we're going to start creating a layout using some of those Flexbox concepts we've learned about in the last several videos. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and let's give the background here, let's make it black. So we're going to go ahead and update the body and we're just going to give this a class so we can specify it in CSS and let's just call this body, pretty simple. And we're just going to start out with one flex item. Okay, so let's flip over to our style sheet. So let's first go ahead and copy this code and we'll specify our body class right above here. And we're just going to set the background color to black, as I said. And of course, typo. And I'm having a problem with live server right now, so I'm going to have to refresh the page. I hate doing that, but it's giving me issues. So let's refresh it, and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead now and take a look at our flex container, which of course is going to set up our general flex property. So we want to keep the display set to flex. And then what we want to do is set the flex direction to row. And we're going to wrap all of our flex items. And you remember flex wrap, we talked about that a few videos ago. And so we're just going to set this to wrap. So basically we want all of our flex items to wrap below. Okay, so now let's go ahead now and take a look at our first box. Now we're gonna go ahead and keep some of these properties. We'll center the text, we'll keep the color of the text white, we'll set the width to 100. Now let's go ahead and give our box 100 pixels in height. And let's go ahead and refresh our page, good. That looks good. And we'll keep the margin at 10 pixels. We'll keep the padding at five pixels. Let's get rid of flex basis. Instead, we're gonna use flex grow. And let's set that to one. Now you will remember what this does. It basically will allow our box one to consume all of the available space in the row. And you know what? Let's realign this here a little bit. Wow, I was way off. Okay, let's give this some room. A little bit more room okay since we're doing a layout so let's go ahead and refresh our page and there you can see look at what the flex grow property did now what we want to do is go ahead and let's add a little radius here curve these edges a little bit so if you remember way back if you took my css tutorials and i hope you did we use the border radius property and let's set that to five pixels Let's refresh our page and see what we get. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a little border, snazz it up a little bit. And we're gonna set this to white. We'll make that the color. We'll set it to one pixel in width and we'll set it to solid. Good deal. And then let's go ahead and refresh our page. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, now let's go back to our index.html and let's add in another Flexbox item. This is what I love about Flexbox. So easy to just add items. Once you get your general layout down, it's very easy to add these in. All right, so we'll make that our box two. And then let's go back to our style sheet and let's copy and paste all this code. There we go. Looking good. And then of course we need to specify, make this box two. But let's use a different color. We'll make this dark. Well, not dark, dark, dark violet. How about that? There we go. And we're not going to use the flex grow property here because we want this to be the smaller box. We're going to put this on the right hand side. So let's refresh this and look at that. That looks great. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to use Flexbox. You can add items, you can resize the boxes accordingly. So if we wanted this to be our main content here, you could put it in here and then maybe you wanted to put an ad or something or a picture over here. It's very easy to use Flexbox. So we're applying all of the concepts we've learned. Okay, so what we're gonna do in the next video is talk about how to add a line break and we'll add some more Flex items to our layout. See you then.